Well, you guys got another video on how to recover a lost partition. Now, as long as you're acting on this very quickly, you should be able to recover that partition with all your data on it. Now, the most important part is I will always use a pre-installed environment, which is a WinPE. I would normally boot up to that. I would normally then try to recover. So we're booting up to our USB flash drive with our Windows pre-installed environment, WinPE for short. And what this is going to do is have a bunch of tools on it, which is going to allow us to try to recover our deleted or lost partition. Now, this may have all of your precious data on this partition, and you can use this method uh, to basically try to recover that partition. So you just got to let it load up. It's loading into memory, and uh, I'm trying to record the screen here with my camera. So you might see a bit of blurriness from time to time but it will focus and you can see we're now loading up to the WinPE desktop so it looks like a Windows desktop and that's what it is but it's in a WinPE environment now we're going to be using this partition recovery software here and what we're going to do is we're going to select the the actual uh, partition that has been deleted and you can see it says unallocated space so what we're going to do is click on the drive and it's this Western Digital Blue Drive right here. And I can already see that there is a unallocated space of 931 gigabytes. And that is the drive that I want to recover. So right here, you can see it. It's right there, 931 gigabytes, and we want to recover that on this PC. Now, we don't have to be at the desktop to recover this. We can do it from this environment. And I've done loads of repairs from this environment, and it's a lot easier than what you would think. So we're going to click on the quick scan here because this will try to recover the partition uh, and, and bring it back so we can access it and get all our data off. If this doesn't work, you can use the super scan or extended uh, scan, which will take a lot longer and it will scan deeper on the drive sector by sector to try and recover that uh partition on your drive so this will take a bit of time so be patient and uh, because we are working in memory so it's not going to be the fastest but it will get things done once it starts finishing the scan so you can see here it's just going to finish this off now hopefully once we get to 100% what this will do is try to recover that partition for us so if you have a drive that you've lost the partition on then you can use this method to try to recover that partition now one important thing to remember when recovering any form of data or partitions or anything like that is to act immediately do not continue to use that drive for many months and then hope to try to recover the partition on that drive because it's not going to be possible it'll be a lot harder to try to recover so you want to act as soon as possible as soon as you've realized you've deleted the partition or you've accidentally uh, removed it and it's now unallocated space you can then try to recover it now of course if you did a really uh, deep uh, format on that drive it's going to be probably impossible to recover that partition but if you just quickly delete the partition then it's possible that you might get it back just like we've just done right here so now I can gain access to this. Now, if I had an external drive, I could copy all of this data off if I wanted to, to an external drive if I wanted to. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically shut down the PC and boot up to the PC normally so I can now gain access to this drive. And I'll do that at the desktop because copying the data from the desktop is going to be a lot quicker than using the recovery option right here. Now, there is a last chance option right there, and you can see, and there's also easy file recovery. If the data has all been lost, you can use data recovery software. So not all is lost if you have uh, removed your, say, partition and you want to recover that data. Still, you might be able to still do it with data recovery software if the partition recovery is not working. So what I'm going to do now is I'll shut this down and uh, I'll remove my USB flash drive and I'll boot into Windows normally and I would then see if I can get this access to this drive data. 
Now, PC repair shops will charge you an absolute fortune to recover data like this, and it is pretty simple if you know what you're doing. And if this doesn't work, you can always use data recovery software to recover data. So ready to recover, you can see right here, assign a drive letter, and we can set the partition to active if it's a bootable operating system on that partition, else it's not, it's just a normal partition. I don't want to uh, boot to it, I can boot to it once I get to the desktop. Now, copy all your data to a new disk is another option there. If I wanted to do that, I can do, I would select this option and it will allow us to copy all of the stuff we want to copy to another disk. And you can see if I plugged in a disk here, it will allow me to copy it to that disk. The one in red is the one that I'm booting to with my WinPE on it. So you can't copy it to that disk because it's in use. But if you had another external drive, you can copy data to that drive. Unfortunately, it will be quite slow because you are doing it from memory. So it's not going to be the fastest way of copying your data. So booting up to the desktop is always going to be the best option. So you can see right here, uh, I've already got this all set up. I don't need to play with these settings uh, because I don't want to boot it up as an operating system. I'm just going to boot to the desktop and I will be able to gain access to that partition. So let me quickly uh, shut all this down because we've done all of this now. We have got all of the data saved and the, and the partition has been recovered. So what I need to do now is I'm going to close this off and then remove my USB flash drive and then boot up to our computer's desktop and we'll be able to gain access to all of that data. So let me quickly remove all of this. And you can see this is the drive that I've just recovered right here. Now, this was an actual Windows drive, as you can see, but I didn't choose to boot to it as a Windows operating system. I wanted to gain access to it at the desktop here. And now I can just pull off all of the files from the user profile. I can get all of the photos and documents on this drive and pull it off onto another drive if I wanted to internally. And because this was a NVMe drive, uh, it's going to be pretty fast if I copy data from this drive to another drive which I have on this system, which is also an NVMe drive. So NVMe to NVMe is going to be super fast data transfer rather than transferring data inside a WinPE, which will be quite slow. Now, there's plenty of options out there for Windows PEs. There's uh, Hiram's Boot CD uh, WinPE, and there's other ones available out there that you can use as well. You can choose which one you want and use that, or you can create your own. I've made videos showing you how to create your own Windows pre-installed environments. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.